Welcome to the view. The view. <laughs> I'm Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin is inviting you to uh, welcoming you to the view. I don't know what cowbells have to do with paganism or Satan. Um, um, if you give me a few minutes, I'll figure something out. I'll make a connection. I'm the king of connections. I will connect. I'm the king of segues. I will segue from cowbells to Satan. Well, let's segue to the Chinese scientists that are splicing Devil's human embryos. Devil's milk. De okay. Cowboys make, cowboys make milk. They use milk to make cakes. And there are devil cakes. Got that? See how quick that was? Well, what are they doing with the human embryos? Oh, they're those Chinese, those those Very crafty. evil, crafty, brilliant, wonderful Chinese are. Um, tur I have di have, di and you know it was going to be in a country. You knew that it was going to be a in a country that didn't ban this, you know, this ridiculous banning of using embryos as experiments. I mean. Have you any heard of anything so ridiculous? Banning experiments on embryos. So now, look what happens. Now the Chinese come up with ways of, of, of uh, manipulating the genes to turn their babies into, you know, beautiful uh, babies with, uh, with the right color eyes and the right hair color and everything. Well, what color is that? Well, it depends on what, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different, for different for strokes for different folks, you know. I would think that they if, were gonna... if they're in China. If they're in China, they may say, "Well, blue black is better than you know, black black or ivory black or Mars black for the hair." How about red hair? No, they, they don't have. Well, they they may now. The Chinese the Chinese now will have lead hair. Lead hair. Lead hair. <laughs> lead. It's red. Lead. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, if I had to genetically engineer a baby, I don't know what I'd, I really don't know what I'd want because it's so permanent, you know? It's you choose like now! <laughs> it's not like you can change your mind afterwards. Choose now! <laughs> I mean, there's plastic surgery and all. Plastic surgery? <laughs> but, you know, a lot of those choices are pretty permanent. Yeah, permanent choices. Well, leave it to the Chinese. I mean, they're going to take over the world. And then we're going to yeah, be in trouble. With their army of superhuman, genetically engineered soldiers. Yes, they're going to do what, what uh, Hitler failed to do. And we're just going to sit back and watch. Too, too, so too, now you're comparing too, too China. Fat. So now you're comparing we're China too, to Nazi too Germany. Too fat and lazy. Yes, we're too fat and lazy to do anything about it. Sit back. Okay, look, go ahead. Here, a potato chip. I'd like a potato chip. Well, I don't... I don't have any potato chips. Well, I have some candy now. I've got any good candy? I've got some gobstoppers. No. Oh. I've got some nights. Got some nights. No, the gobstoppers good. It's a candy cornucopia today at the pagan. It's a candy festival. cornucopia at the at the pagan. Although no festival. candy corn in there. Mm. Oh, that's There's no candy corn in the candy cornucopia. No. We'll be right back. And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome back to the pew. It Welcome really back to the pew. Welcome back to the pew, the bleached out vampire edition. Blazing sun. Blazing saddle. You wouldn't think the sun would be blazing at the pagan festival, but yeah, you would think the, show you. the moon would be blazing, but not the sun. The devil comes in all different different shapes, forms, and disguises. Well, you know who's blazing is Elton John, mm. because he thinks he's going to be talking to Vladimir Putin very soon about gay rights in Russia. So, I guess Elton John received a phone call from somebody he thought was Vladimir Putin, and. Vladimir Putin was being nice to him or mean to him? He was like, he was like saying like mean things to him? Well, Elton said that was complaining about Russia and how they treat gays. So the Russian shock jocks just called him to pull a prank to talk and, you know, invite him to come to Russia Ooh. and talk. So Elton then wrote this tweet saying, I'm so thrilled that Vladimir right. Putin wants to talk to me. So then Vladimir Putin actually did call him. 
Well, after Elton was humiliated, right. when it turned out that it was actually just shock jocks playing right. a big joke on him. Which is, do you remember the story when Elizabeth Taylor was in the hospital and um, and um, she had like some you know minor cold or something, but she was making this big deal out of it, and a shock jock called and pretended to be uh, uh, President Clinton and said, "Oh, Elizabeth Taylor, you're a national treasure." And she was like, "Oh, President Clinton, oh gosh, oh you don't mean me. I'm, I'm not that important." And then they put that on the radio. That's what this is like. But then Putin actually did call him, right? Right, and then I guess President Putin felt bad about it. Oh, Elton John. Wait, wait, I gotta get my Russian. Um, so Michael's Elton gonna do an John. impersonation of yeah. Vladimir Putin. Except the for real some Vladimir reason, Putin. For some reason, she sounded like Suzanne Bosch just now. I mean, he sounded like Suzanne Bosch just now. Elton John. Oh, yeah. This is Vladimir Putin, you faggot. Faggot Elton John. This is Vladimir Putin calling to apologize. Yes, we apologize to you, faggot. We don't want to take you down a yellow brick road. Yes, we will. Uh, what was the other song? The bitch is back. Um, we want you to come to come to Russia. Come to Mother Russia. We make sure you go home safely. Yes, you will be on plane the next day. You will not be in Gulag. We will not send you to Siberia. Yes, come to Russia. We apologize. We love you, Mr. John. Goodbye, yellow brick road. That so, a taste of what Vladimir Putin. Would That's say what Vladimir to Elton Putin John. probably sounded like when he called um, Elton John. Yeah. Bitches want to know. All right. Yeah, I said, uh, I, I, no. Ziggy Moss wants to know if we've had nose jobs. Why are you? Are you saying our noses look really perfect? If we have nose jobs, you and me. Yeah. Um, I do. Well, you, have you had one or more than one? Well. I had one nose job given to me by a doctor, and then I had another nose job given to me by a dining room table. <laughs> Which one was more expensive? The dining room table, because it cost me all, all sorts of money in heroin. I was it was at Peter's um, one of Peter's parties at the Mayfair Hotel, and I did all this heroin. He didn't allow us to do heroin, so I had to go to the bathroom to do it. And when I came out. Um, perfect example of how prohibition doesn't work. So I came out of the bathroom and I said, I have never felt so good in all my life. And then I went, and I fell right at the table. I don't have a nose After job. Amanda, oh my God, did, you, did I tell you the funny story about Amanda taking me to her doctor for my nose job? No. Oh my God, it was so funny. Her doctor had been, uh, had his license taken away because he'd given a sex change to an underage um, boy in South Bend, in South Bend, in New York. So when the, he was 17, when the boy awoke as a girl, he jumped out the um, the hospital uh, recovery room to his death, and they took his license away. So now he's in New Jersey. So Amanda comes to get to me the day the day after I the morning after I the first time I tried to crack. And I was like high out of my mind on crack. And Amanda comes at 10 o'clock in the morning. She's like, oh, we gotta take you to the doctor. We gotta get you for your, you gotta get your nose job. So she takes me in the bus. We go to New Jersey. So on a Sunday afternoon, the hospital's closed. He sneaks us into the into the hospital. It's all dark. He turns on the lights. I, I pay him in cash. That was the deal. I would pay him in cash. He's putting me out with the gas. I'm telling him, I just, I tried crack yesterday. And will this crack, you know, interfere with whatever drugs you're giving me now? He's like, no, 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 no. And I see Amanda out of the corner of my eye injecting uh, silicone into her lips. Going to her, you know, just, you know, going through his silicone and whatever. That's and, a cabinet. Yeah. And just helping herself to his stuff. And then I woke up covered in blood and Amanda um, takes me home and I, and my nose is perfect. But I couldn't wait for the, um, them to take the things out, and I, because I need a drug, I need to put drugs up my nose. So I took all the bandages out, put drugs up my nose, and then I fucked up. I fucked everything up. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it, kid. Don't do it, kid. Don't do what? Don't do drugs. Or don't do nose jobs. Any of it. Just don't do anything. A cautionary tale. Don't do anything. See you next time. Just sit back and have a potato chip. Pagans. Potato chips.